All right, folks, we got a break in the clouds. A little bit of sunlight, the snow stopped. It's still pretty cold out, but we're gonna see if we can fix this thing. All right, and I've, I've got it sitting in the worst spot to do this, but I'm not gonna move it. <laughs> I'm like, come on. <laughs> I thought, oh, I could just lower the forks, you know. But uh, nope, it's not going down without this thing running. All right, well, we know what needs to be done. Gotta take this guy off. <clears throat> that allows me to get the belt on. Ah, yes, the, uh, the, the sawmill's not in the best location for this. However, it is what it is. The reason it's sitting where it is is because you really don't want to leave it sitting over the uh, over the strips. Oh, I tighten those down a bit. I did. Yeah, a little bit, huh? There we go. Got her up. This thing is a bit of a pain to, to get out. I figured it out last time. <laughs> The drive belt kind of gets in the way. And the whole thing has to come up like this. Like so. All right, that'll work. And then that one there comes off. Most of this stuff was just finger tight. <sighs> Slippery when wet, folks. Didn't take too long to do this, considering it's been sitting here waiting for me. Okay, there we go. All right. Should have lowered those forks, huh? Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Folks, they did not tell me that I needed the pulley for this, which is at home. Good Lord, wood miser. Shoot. So we're not putting it on. Well, <laughs> folks, have you ever heard of Joe Bispick? He's from the Little Abner comics, like in the 50s, maybe the 40s, I don't know. Long time ago, probably before my time. He had a rain cloud over his head. And my stepdad, John, wonderful man, He's gone now. He was just a fantastic person. Um, rocket scientist, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, John used to tell me, he said, Eric, you kind of remind me of Joe Bispick. You always got that rain cloud over your head. Well, I got the box with the Woodmiser alternator and the belt and everything else. The bad alternator is at home. Apparently, you gotta pull the pulley off of that alternator and put it on this one. I didn't know that. Never even, I never even thought to look, folks. It's chilly out here, I didn't put my gloves back on. So, I'm not gonna be able to replace that alternator. Not today. It's gonna be next trip which right now is looking at two weeks from now. That's okay, I probably wouldn't have milled today anyway. But I got something I wanted to tell you though. So I think everybody that watches my channel knows that I get my bands from Joe Main. He's out of Georgia, but he ships all across the US. And last I checked, free shipping still. Are you kidding me? So free shipping, bands all over the US. Joe's a great guy. <laughs> ICT, I think, International Cutting Tools. I think that's what it's called. But honestly, the reason I don't remember is because I just remember Joe Main's name. And that's really all you've got to remember. Joe Main's name, that's it. You don't really need to know anything else other than all the best sawyers I know get bands from Joe. Bands come fast, right to your door. And they even make their own. Now, I don't use the bands they make. I still use the Woodmiser bands. And so Joe just sends me the seven degree Woodmiser bands. That's what I like to run. But I have some news though. So Joe and I were talking 
just a, well, maybe a week ago. And he says, Eric, I got something I wanted to tell you. And I said, what's that, Joe? And he said, I'm now a Woodmiser parts dealer. Well, folks, the way I understand it is if you have a Woodmiser office in your state or a Woodmiser shop in your state, then he doesn't sell to those states. You got to go to Woodmiser. But if you're like I am here in Washington state, there's no Woodmiser here. There's one in Oregon, but there's not one here in Washington. I can go straight to Joe and get my parts there. And I'll bet you if I'd have called Joe and asked about that, he probably would have said, hey, Eric, by the way, you got to swap the pulleys from the old one to the new one. I love Woodmiser. I do. But I had no idea you had to do that. I've gotten alternators. I've replaced alternators in cars over the years. Never had to swap any pulleys out. You just get an alternator, so already got a pulley on it, you slap her in there and away you go. And usually you, you get a core for it. <laughs> well, I ain't fixing my alternator today, but at least I can tell you that not only is Joe Main now the guy to get your bands from, and, and folks, I gotta tell you, it's not just me. Uh, I know that Nathan over at Out of the Woods Sawmill gets his bands from Joe. I know that Custom Sawyer gets his bands from Joe. I know lots of folks that get their bands from Joe. There's a reason for that. He's a good guy, plain and simple. And I'll tell you what, if I don't, if I don't believe something, I'm not going to tell you that, okay? I'm just not. Why would I? So parts, whether I get them from Joe or still call Brett locally, well, not locally, he's in Oregon, but he's only 200 miles from me. Brett's been really good for me. Woodmiser's always been good. But honestly, the, the part comes from Indiana. I could have called Joe. So I, I will probably be calling Joe in the future. And I like Brett. He's great. I, I use James over at Woodmiser, Oregon for my tech support. But um, Joe's, that, Joe's that kind of a guy that I'd rather get my parts from him. So anyway, not enough said. That's a PSA for today, folks. Public service announcement. <laughs> if you get an alternator that goes bad on your sawmill, swap the bloody pulley out from the old sawmill before you take your new alternator 250 miles or whatever the heck it is my alternators my alternator my my uh i was gonna say my al altimeter my odometer in my jeep isn't quite right and you know i, I this isn't about jeeps but if you do ever put bigger tires in your cars you got to change you know the tire size in the computer in modern cars and i've done that and it still isn't right got to fix that. But anyway, it's 237, 247 miles, something like that. Before you haul an alternator that far, check to see whether or not you need to put the pulley on it. There's your PSA for today and get your parts from Joe Main. Folks, I really appreciate you being here. I'm going to drop another video right here for you to check out. Y'all have a great day. The old jarhead's out because he's got to go find something else to do. See you later, folks.